Hi guys, what's going on? This is Chris with IPGRentals.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Tilta Nucleus Nano. Let's check it out. So inside the box you're going to find three Allen wrenches, the battery charger, two adjustable focus rings, two of the 14500 batteries, two cables to power the motor from the various gimbal units, and you'll also find two uh, rings and brackets for uh, the, the different kinds of gimbals out there. Right now attached to our gimbal we have one. Ours is the Ronin S and they also give you one for the crane as well. So you have the hand unit itself, uh, which is very small, uh, very, very light, and it will attach on the side, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And then up here, you can see that we already have the motor attached to the lens. And I'm gonna show you how to calibrate this, and you can see that the lens itself is one of the Canon L-series lenses, and that has infinite focus. So we will show you how to do a mapping for a lens that has infinite focus. So before uh, we go through any mapping or we go through even turning this on, let me just show you how to mount it. The proper position for this is to be facing you like this. And what it is, it's going to face straight up in the air towards you so all the buttons are facing me. Uh, and we actually attached it already, which is very simple, using one of the Allen uh, keys. And all you do is you have this in the unlocked position, which is up. And it just slides right down in there and boom you are ready to go right here put your right hand on there for and what's good is this can be flipped too because there's brackets on both sides um, which side which side you want your monitor on versus your focus so there you go just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop it off so that I can see exactly what I'm doing all right so let's talk about this to turn it on I'm gonna go ahead and just move it right here to turn this baby on, you're going to go ahead and hit the record button. And you'll see that the screen pops up. And we did a video on the Nucleus M. It was a little more extensive. This is simple. There's pretty much two or three things that you need to worry about right on this thing. Right? And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on its side. So you'll see standby, which is going to be for recording. Now, you can uh, sync this up to a camera. Um, using the cable uh, provided. Now it's going to depend also on whatever kind of camera you have. Uh, you're going to need to do uh, whatever cable is necessary for that camera and then to connect to the uh, micro USB that you have right here. So you would just hit record and that's standby right there. That standby is obviously you're not recording and then when you hit record you'll see that it says recording and you'll see that's actually going to light up and it actually vibrates too. Which is what I like about it because honestly um, not only do they give you, uh, you know, for you to use your eyes to see what the screen's telling you, it also gives you a little vibration to let you know too, which is kind of a, uh, a dual way to let you know that you're either doing things or not doing things. So I like that feature in there for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. I felt a little vibe there just to say, hey, you know, we're not recording anymore. And then you can see that this says master. Now, just like in the Nucleus M, you can change all these from master to slave because if they were all mastered at the same time, it would just be a huge, uh, you know, who has control. So you have to change all these according to who you want the master control to be. So that's a very, very easy thing. In order to get the master to slave, there's a set button right here, and you're just gonna double tap that, and you'll see it's gonna go to slave. I double tap it again, it goes to master, and again, the vibration tells you that whatever you're inputting is, is inputting in the controller, kind of lets you know. All right, and then you see a free right here on the bottom. And that free is going to tell you about your, um, your focus ranges that we'll set up in just a minute. And then on the bottom, that's actually going to give you the plus uh, the three digits. That'll give you whatever, uh, whatever position that you're at. It'll, it can go all the way from, um, let's see, 0 to 999. So that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple setup. And you can see that big 6 on the side, that's the channel that we're on at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it off. You do that by holding it down. And now we're off. Okay. So now we're going to move to the uh, motor itself. And the setup is very easy. It actually comes with a mounting bracket uh, with quarter 20 holes in it uh, for you to be able to put uh, the plate that the Ronin comes in. And it comes with a small rod uh, that you can put your, uh, your focus motor on right there. And again, this is just a very, very 
you know, uh, micro version of the things that are already on the Nucleus M. So what was great was you're probably going to buy the Nucleus M um, for anybody who, you know, is on bigger productions. So you already have kind of a knowledge and vice versa. You know, if you get the Nucleus M or the Nucleus Nano uh, for the Ronin or for small gimbals, then if you graduate up to the, the Nucleus M, you're already going to have kind of an understanding about how the system works, which is a, it's a way to cut out the learning um, time. So one of the cables is a micro USB to uh, the Ronin S connection, which is a power bank that's going to be underneath where your camera sits. And that's going to distribute power out to this motor. So you don't have to worry about powering this thing by itself. And then on the side, you're going to see that you just connect it right there. And I'll go ahead and turn it so you can see a little better. So you're going to see that it's, uh, it says the channel number, it says standby, and then it's going to say the lens positioning. So you want to make sure first and foremost that these are talking to each other. So I'm going to go ahead right over here and I'm going to turn this back on and you can see it's on six and you can see that that one is on six as well, but let's just show you how to do it anyway. In order to get these different channels, you double tap the up and down, either tap up to go up to channel seven or tap down to go uh, down uh, to the lower channel. So let's just go ahead and move it to seven. I like seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna move right over here to this and I'm gonna tap it up twice. So now you have seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and map out this lens. So to do that, you're gonna detach this really quick and I'm going to turn this lens to the near focus and then I'm going to reattach. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn this all the way clockwise and I'm going to go ahead and attach this really quick right against there. Okay. So in order to do this, it's a really simple process. You're just going to hit the calibrate button turn it right here so you can read this. You're going to hit this calibrate button twice. So here we go. One. All right. So you'll see HCA come up there uh, underneath where it says master. And then you're going to turn, you know, turn this focus wheel until it gets to infinity, which is right there. Now to lock it in, you're going to hit the calibrate button twice more. All right. And so we have our full range of this lens. Very, very, very easy. And in order to do a lens with hard stops, even easier, you'll just go over to the motor. Let me go ahead and put this down right here. You're just going to go over to the motor and the down button right there, you'll actually hit it and hold it down and it'll say calibrate lens. And you just hold it down until it goes three, two, one, and you'll see the lens will go and turn. And then the lens will go back and turn the other way and it's done. It's as easy as that. So let's talk about uh, the uh, one other th really cool thing is that you can do a focus range on here. So I'm going to have it right here on its side so you can read it. And in order to do a focus range, you're just going to go say you want to, you know, your focus range here is A. And you're going to actually hit this button once, which is set. And you're going to see A and you're going to see three little dashes behind it. So now it's waiting for a B. So now I'm just going to turn it to maybe what my point B would be. And then I'm just going to hit that set again. And now you can see we have a focus range on there. That's good. Now, in order to get rid of that, very, very easy. You just hit the set button one more time and it clears it completely. Boom. You felt a little vibration and now it says free. So again, it is as easy as that. So now you see we have our full range back. And like I said before, to install it, you just go right ahead, put it right down in there, and you are completely good to go right here. So you, now you can see. And it's fantastically simple. Um, and again, it's preference. You can put your monitor on whatever side you want versus this right here. And uh, the Nucleus Nano is compatible with the Nucleus M as well backwards and forwards. So it's not just, a, you know, this nucleus product is only for this nucleus product and, and vice versa. Um, you can also control this setup with the Nucleus M Fizz as well. So uh, it's com the compatibility is just off the charts that you can do this. This really is a fantastic tool for filmmakers, um, you know, 
who want something very, very reliable and something that's completely up to date. So it's, uh, it's awesome. It really is awesome. We're very happy we have it. So at IPGRentals.com, we want you to feel comfortable and confident with the gear that you're renting from us. So every Monday at 9 a.m., we release a new video with tips and tricks about the gear that we offer. So like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's our gear. It's your vision. IPGRentals.com.